Hey guys, Curtis Alexander, can ADD meds or other medications affect your magnesium levels? Turns out it can. We'll talk about that in this video, what's going on and what you can do about it. So there's, there's certain medications, we're talking ADD meds, we're talking Zoloft, we're talking Wellbutrin, that when you take them, they act on what's called the sympathetic nervous system in your body. So basically your fight or flight, they'll increase adrenaline is one of their actions. Now, when that happens, when you activate that fight or flight, you send out adrenaline, you're gonna send out stress hormones and increase stress hormones like cortisol, okay? And, and I wanna point out, this doesn't make cortisol bad. We, cortisol gets bad rap, it's just a natural reaction in your body. But when those stress hormones, the stress response does go up, your body is going to use up more magnesium. This has been shown in a lot of studies and that's called the magnesium burn rate. Now that becomes a problem because as your magnesium burn rate goes up through the use of these medications, your blood levels of magnesium are going to continue to go down. And if they get low enough, we're going to run into issues because magnesium is involved in so many different functions in your body from hormones to enzyme, um, the ability of your enzymes to function, to um, keeping you calm, to sleep, all these things that's involved in, we can see issues. Now, some of those that are particularly happening with ADD meds when magnesium gets low is anxiety. Sometimes there's signs of depression. So it is very important. There's a definite relationship between low magnesium levels and some of these medications. So if you sit down and talk to your doctor and you decide that, hey, I, I have to be on these medications, then I would encourage you to discuss supplementing with magnesium. My preferred form is magnesium glycinate. Um, I used to have a recommended manufacturer that I liked. They've changed their formulation, so I'll put a link in the description to the one I recommend now. Um, like I said, talk to your doctor about it. It is a real thing. And it's something you want to keep an eye on because uh, it can happen and cause some problems. Speaking of which, make sure to go to my website. You'll get, uh, I talk about these sort of things a lot more on the website, including a couple of natural therapies I personally use that have helped people with ADD. So um, you want to check that out. Anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.